the next module we are going to use is again deployment right so again we're gonna use deploy to container plugin for doing the deployments right so that plugin is similar to another plugins right which is which which will basically help you to copy your Jenkins war I mean your artifact from your build server and deploy it to the you know wherever you wants to deploy it so you just have to go to plugin more section go to available section right and search for deploy or you just search for container I would say right once you search for container you will see the deploy to container plugin is there click on this container plugin and click on download now and restart after All right and click on restart the plugin has been successfully installed now so let's use that plugin for doing the deployment right either you create the new job or you can use the existing job so let's i am going to use this first job at this moment also just click on configuration so so i scroll it down to the build section i'm going to use this repository and let's scroll it down and come here and click on let's say I'm gonna use the top level Maven target again here so you can use now we have Maven available in the system as well as here so whatever you wants to choose that's up to you so I would, I'm gonna say clean install All right so once you're done with this you'll get you will get that plugin here in the post section let's say deploy war EAR to container right so before doing this you'll have to now before doing the deployments we need to do one thing right so for this section I, I'm going to use the Tomcat 7 otherwise this is going to take some time in configuring configuring some maven stuff so i will download a patch a tomcat 7 so i would rec uh, suggest you to use the different plugins and go through some of the issues you'll face there all right just copy this link address and before this i'll go to my client node So let's say I'm gonna use OPT instead of this, I'll use USR now. This plugin you will not use so frequently, but somehow you might need it. That's what I'm trying to explain it here. This is my client node where I'm installing. I'll just change the color for. Right, so I will do wget. So I will kill one another if Java process is running here. Okay, let it run. That's fine. Let's let's start up dot search. And let's validate if this instance of Tomcat is running. Oh, 
okay this is running guys right so what next configuration i need to do is one thing i need to do here so if you click on this manage app this will ask you the username and password and if you do not have any username and password you cannot assign at this moment so you'll get some error right so i need to create one user in apache tomcat so for doing this i'm in the my client machine where i'm going to deploy so i will go to my config so this is the location you already know this in this config you will find one file which is called user.xml file right you just have to open this user.xml file here and navigate at the end right you can see here some of the users has been you know you can see the roles man and these users has been commented you can pick any of the role from here let's say i gonna use let's say i will pick this one i will copy this line from here right i will just come below this line and will paste it right and i will say i will create one user my username is shaker and the password of this user is shaker at the rate one two three four and roles now what roles you want us to assign here you can see we have multiple roles manager gui role allow user to access html gui allow access to test interface let's say at this moment i am going to assign all the roles to this user but i can see here right but you should assign the roles according to your requirement so i am seeing all the roles so i will put all the roles with the comma here so you can give the comma and you can give the another role you can give the comma you can put this another role here you can give the comma and just save it once you are done with saving this navigate to the bin and restart it startup.sh right so let's go ahead and validate your tomcat again so click on manager app again and keep your username shaker what was the password shaker at the rate one two three four so once you click here you'll get this manager app page here right from this manager you can do all if you see here by default job of web apps page they to right one up to multiple folder the guy data right those deployment folder you can see already these folder are deployed here you can see from here you can start stop and everything जो भी आपको जी आई में दिखाई देता है जो पेज दिखाई देते हैं डॉक्यूमेंट एवरीथिंग इज कमिंग फ्रॉम हियर अगर आपको कोई मैनुअल डिप्लॉयमेंट करनी है तो आप यहां से कर सकते हो आप कंटेक्स बात दे सकते हो राइट और वॉर को यहां से उठा के चूज फाइल करके भी डिप्लॉय कर सकते हो राइट दिस इज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू फ्रॉम दी जी वाई इट सेल्फ नाउ सो वी आर डन विद दिस राइट वेर वी हैव मैनेजर एक्सेस नाउ नाउ वी नीड टू गो टू जेंक इन जॉब्स अगेन एंड से वट वी नीड टू कॉपी फ्रॉम हियर right so let's click here and it will give you some idea exactly how we can select your wars so it says star star dot war anything comes before war that means star star you can give one star that depends on the target folders you have if you have more than one target folder you can give that even if you give the one star that will work as well right that's what i'm giving here star star right let's say i'm gonna give one star star dot war pick my war from my workspace and what is the context path of that so guys do you know what is the context path so let's go to jenkins dot jenkins workspace and first job so this is the job which i am using if i go to my target so you can see this is the complete war and after this war would be extracted this would be the context path which i will use to access my application so that's what i am putting here this is my this will be my context path right 
नेक्स्ट कंटेनर्स वेर यू वॉन्ट्स टू डिप्लॉय इट क्लिक हियर यू वॉन्ट टू एड डिप्लॉय टू द ग्लास फेस जे बॉस टॉम कैट वेर यू वॉन्ट्स टू डू दिस सो यू विल गेट मल्टीपल ऑप्शन हियर राइट सो जस्ट गो हैड हियर एंड क्लिक हियर Let's say I will do it in the remote uh, uh, Tomcat Seven at this moment. So you need to click Add Add Credentials. Click on Jenkins. Give the username and the password here. And click on Add. I think password was Shaker at the rate one two three only. Right. Okay, thanks guys. One, two, three, four. So I'll go ahead and click on Add. No thanks. Select your user here and your Tomcat URL. So what is your Tomcat URL? Your Tomcat URL is this. By eight zero eight zero. This is your client Tomcat, right? Where you are deploying the things. And go ahead. apply and save so let's go ahead now and click on build now click here so you can see the deploy publisher attempt to attempting to deploy one war file right deploying this file see to container this this tomcat and the context path is this right it says is not deployed doing a fresh deployment deploying this is done let's see if this has been deployed successfully it says the deployment is successful so let's go to web apps oh my bad Oh, I can see this has been deployed. So instead of uh, viewing it here, just go here and refresh this page once. And see if the deployment has been done successfully. Do you see here? Tomcat Maven example is here. You can start stop this deployment from here and und undeploy from here as well. So if you directly click on this. it will take you to your application hello page right for just for a validation right if you want to do it stop undeploy reload you can do anything from here let's see you want to stop it the application has been stopped right you can you can start it you'll see here the status of that so anything you can do it from here